Okay, so, you know, at this point it becomes important to define our terms a bit and know what we mean when we say the American criminal justice system. So, and, and, and I've made before this distinction between what we'll call criminal justice and what we'll call the criminal justice system. So, for example, if, if we call, if we define the system as what happens to an individual once they've been arrested in the United States and charged with a crime, that system in and of itself has some rather beautiful aspects to it, has some really counterintuitive yet remarkably uh, humanistic notions like, you know, you need to prove a crime beyond a reasonable doubt, the burden of the proof is on the state entirely, uh, you're presumed innocent once you're arrested. These are beautiful notions that, that, that may not be found in other systems and indeed aren't found in other criminal justice systems. So from that perspective, if, we, if, we, if when we say criminal justice system, we limit ourselves to that kind of consideration, then, then we're going to essentially conclude that, that things aren't all that bad. What happens, the problem in the United States is, is not so much that system as it is society in general's attitude towards what I'll call crime and punishment, towards what is the proper um, attitude that a society should have towards people who've broken the law, what, v what laws should be emphasized and aren't emphasized, what the police choose to um, emphasize. So I'm sure you understand that the United States essentially um, has declared a war on drugs for at least you know at least 30 years. I mean, I could even date it back 10 years more than that. Um, and essentially, what's happened there because of this declaration of the war on drugs is is it, it's all sorts of perversions have been created, whereby the the United States incarceration rate far exceeds that of other civilized countries and is something like seven times the incarceration rate, say, of Germany. So clearly, although what we'll call this, what I've defined as the system has these beautiful aspects to it. Something has gone wrong, whereby an, an insane amount number of its citizens are being incarcerated. And I think that if we were going to, you know, essentially try to stamp out this injustice, I would think that the focus would have to go on these societal attitudes and these larger picture concerns about who it is that enters the system in the first place, what, what it is that causes someone to get arrested, and what our attitude is going to be towards that person once they are arrested. And these aren't things you can look up in a, in a book, you can look up, in a, you can look up um, in a criminal code. They're not written on paper. These are just essentially uh, a, a spirit of the society that has become damaged and has come to view certain people as dispensable and able to be incarcerated for extreme lengths of time.